Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Le Platter, where we are planning to invade Cuba. Cuba, as I like to say it sometimes. So, yeah. Right now we are definitely planning on invading this little tiny country right here. All we're doing is waiting for it to require the goods it needs to sell and yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Does that change what I need to get? I really... I really had wished my capitalists had invented at least one armored factory. That way we could build it in our country and be done with it. But sadly they didn't. And, oh my goodness, I can actually improve my minority rights? Sweet! This took me almost until the end of the... Okay, so this was the... I could usually say my country was really good, but there was always one part of my country that I always kind of looked the other way, and that was the fact that we didn't... All capitalists are about to give me money. I like that. Um... I always kind of, kind of, just kind of didn't say anything because I knew that I also kind of oppressed um, my minorities, which I didn't really want to say out loud to the rest of the world because I have such a great country otherwise. But yeah, I oppressed my minorities, and now that we've, that, now that apparently we're moving on from this, this is actually a pretty cool thing. Wow, we are costing us a, some things are costing us a ton of money. I don't really mind. I mean, it's at the end of the game. My industrial score is kind of more important. And let's see. America, I hope... I still hope you guys succeed in your guys' endeavor. Speaking of which, why are we not buddies? America, we're buddies. America, we're buddies. There we go. America's like, yeah, we're buddies. Why would we ever become non-buddies? It's America. Americas must unite. That's how I put it. Americas must unite. And let's see. The conquest of Aniklink against the rest of the world has begun. They're basically destroying as much as they can. They have they have basically the biggest army in the entire world, and there's absolutely no nothing else the other states can do about it. Now let's just take down the rest of culturalism. That way I look really good when I like go inside the end of the game. Cause at this point, as I keep thinking about it, we're almost at the end of the game. I have a little bit less than like eight years. Well, actually seven? Seven years left before the end of the game. So we're really not that long for this world. So I have to really focus in on what do I want to end this series on? What is my kind of last goals, prime time, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, before the end of the game, we could probably do one more invasion of Brazil, which would be nice to claim this province right here. That way we can, like, look at our provinces and be like, oh my goodness, we look awesome. Okay, impressionism. Just keep going down all these technologies. And let's see. We also, I definitely do want to also do an invasion of Cuba. If they don't have any of the factories built by 1929, or at least started, um, you know what? I don't think these guys are going to build it, but I still want to go invade Cuba. So let's just do this now. Conquest, let's do this. If anyone else tries to stop me, I'm just going to go to blow their brains out because <laughs> I'm not a friendly nation. I am definitely not friendly. Okay, we have a couple of transports right here. I don't think this will be able to carry all of them. Yes. Uh, Portugal, I think, is now back in Austria, by the way. I believe so. Yeah. The fascist Specky Corps have... Portugalians have now become back in Austria and are giving us major military access to a lot of different places. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. And... We are going to go invade Cuba. So, we're going to need more ships. Build more steamers! That's what my order is. Build more steamers. Okay. And the meeting place for the steamers will be right here. And I'm moving the meeting place from our usual meeting place of over here to over there. Okay. Because we don't need it this time. We need to build as many steamers as possible so we can go invade Cuba. Because Cuba... Yeah, it kind of made me mad, and so now I have to go kick their butts. <laughs> Sounds really, really petty, but it's really the truth. I get mad very easily. And it seems like the British are trying to invade Mexico. Oh, man, but America's sending an army in right to go destroy them. Let's go see, is America's army going to be able to fight them? I have no clue. This is actually, I don't know who's better right now in terms of technologically. The United States of A or the UK or RO. The roar. <laughs> wait, wait. So wait, the symbols are R-O-B, which means Rob. So they're the Rob, everyone. 
Yeah! Go Rob! <laughs> I don't know who's stronger, United States or Rob. So we're gonna see though, but it's gonna be quite interesting. Because I really don't know. I honestly don't know. Oh my goodness. America, by the way, if you guys want to really do an impact, try to invade. Yes, this is an excellent opportunity to prove that we are the greatest country in the world. I totally agree. Apparently, there's also some type of international crisis going on in the, uh... Oh, wow. So, Austria... Did, oh, Italy, you're not gonna live. You can't fight all of the... If it was just you, and if it was just the Austrians, maybe Yugoslavia and Italy had a chance, but they can't fight against the Soviet Union. Oh, my goodness. That was a terrible mistake on your guys' parts, and that's gonna come back and bite you pretty heavily. Also, Ecuador is at, is at some kind of crisis... This is why I have troops over here in Ecuador, because Ecuador is usually, by my chance, usually the most unstable country. An automotive factory has failed in my country. That really does stink, but I really don't care too much. So let's see, let's get that back on running. And let's see, just keep building more and more. I really don't care. And let's just keep going. I mean, this is at the end of the game. And we're invading Cuba. Yeah, we're invading... Things I never thought I would do in this game, and that is invade Cuba. Well, I always thought I would invade Cuba at some point, but they're coming for us, everyone! Those no good Cubians, they're coming for us! I know with their Cuban cigars and their, uh, advanced, uh, 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 you know, uh, fort level, I know they totally want to come and invade our country. So what we have to do is our proud nations of the Latinians, we have to go and attack first. So let's do that, and let's go kick those no good Cubans out of here now! Yay how Yeah! Le Plata! <laughs> I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Call for a summit! Yay! The summit was a success! I'm allied with Scandinavia again! Goodness gracious, why the heck are you guys... I don't like you, Scandinavia. You're the one who created the Germany... The German, like... Major, no wait, you guys fought with the Germans. Never mind, you guys are good people. I shouldn't say that. You guys also make Paradox games in the future, so I shouldn't be saying that either. You guys are awesome people. Scandinavia, you are awesome. Keep making Paradox games, by the way. You're really good at it. Okay, back in my country. We're going to be watching as the world slowly fights Britain. Mexico slowly tries to fight Britain. I don't think they're gonna win. America just kind of chills here and doesn't really do much, but they're technically still winning, and I think this might turn into a gigantic Cold War, because I don't think anyone's going to win this, in all honesty. Once America ch ch clears up the rest of this land, though, I don't think there's going to be any more Canadians attacking. Um, we're building massive amounts of steamers. Yes, my steamers are actually building, which is good. Once we get all of our steamers, we're going to go send them in, go get that army, go send them in, go attack the island. And let's see, Mexico, you better go stop Mexico from being invaded, because they are technically your responsibility. Now let's see, I have my Casas Belli for, wait, I have my Casas Belli for these guys until 1930. So I can wait until 1930 before I have to go attack. Which is fine, I think by then I should have a big enough army to go do stuff, but, well, big enough amount of transports to go do stuff. So that doesn't really present too much of difficulty with me. America, I don't know what you guys are doing though. You guys should, uh, if I was you, I'd just, I'd be like loading up my troops and just trying to attack Ireland. Because Ireland's like the easiest place you can ever attack and like hold it there and make sure the British never get to you. As long as they actually, and if they actually become a free independent nation, oh my goodness, that becomes even better. Let's see, you guys are done. You guys are still at war. I don't think you guys are going to win. Uh, Romania is still somehow in my in my uh, sphere of influence, which is surprising me. They have somehow, through six wars, still become under my influence. And Anaklink is somehow losing to a massive coalition. Let's see. They're only losing to the Quinn guy and the uh, singing empire, but somehow that's enough to bring their empire down. It's probably because, actually... Come to think of it, the Indians probably are more advanced technology-wise, so... You know, actually, now I kind of think about that, actually makes kind of more sense. And let's see, Panama Dividends, we have more dividends in our country, yes we do, yes we do. Let's see, how many ships are over here? We have 17 ships. Is this enough yet? No, we still got... 
It'll be split between one ship. Okay. We literally just need one more ship, and then we have enough. Wow, that kind of annoys me. Let's get them. That last ship. Uh, yeah. And just everyone become everything. Like I said, I became a national, a national populi a while back. So whatever, whatever makes everyone happy. I don't really care too much. Oh wow, this is really lagging. Let's slow this down a little bit. Okay, let's see. You guys still can't. Uh, will be split. The remaining units will be loaded. Oh, there we go. Okay, everyone get on the ships. Everyone get on the ships. Okay. And let's go over here. Yay! Okay. We're gonna go to Cuba land and we're gonna soon invade Cuba. Because Cuba is annoying me by all means. They still haven't built the factory I wanted them to build. Great. Well, anyways, this is going to be the end of Cuba because of because of them not building the factory I wanted them to build. They their lives are now ended. I guess I guess my excuse for this war is that I technically they they're threatening our sovereignty. And you want me to join the British war, don't you? You want me to join in, and... You know, America, I've said no like six different times on this. I'm, I'm definitely not joining in. Sorry. I mean, you guys could win this all on your own. You have enough. Trust me. You have enough army to go destroy the British. All you need to do is just land some troops, and you guys win. You haven't done that yet, so I can't really sympathize with you. If you landed some troops, I would maybe say this is actually a good idea. But you haven't even tried that. You know, try yourself and then maybe I'll help you. I mean, seriously, you guys can do this. Trust me, America, you guys can do this. You are America. And Americas, we don't get pushed around by Europeans. We push around. We push around Europeans. Okay? That's the cycle of life. <laughs> well, I'm just... I, I, this is this is a, this is not my political philosophy, people. This is just political philosophy of how I reflect my attitude as La Plata in the game. Okay, let's see political envoy. Let's see, we have our ships arriving in, and let's see, we have our ships arriving in the country of promise. Let's see, and Cuba, you probably don't have much of an army, so this is gonna be really easy. Cuba, bot, die. I don't need anyone else's help in this war. Let's go see. You guys go right here. Let's go do this. Yeah, invading Cuba, cause we can, cause we can invade Cuba, yeah. <laughs> mass culture, we're about to get the mass culture. Oh my goodness, Cuba's even having rebels right now, that's not good Cuba. You don't want to be at war and have rebels. Of course, I'll just go squash the rebels pretty easily, because I am awesome like that. Watch this, wait, brilliant, we have electricity! Oh, okay, I finally do it. Oh, dang it. Okay, 16.3. Yeah, yes, if 16% of my country wants that, let's go Let's go do that because I don't want any more people being mad. Let's see, get the prestige. And there we go. We maxed out all those technologies and we can start on these technologies too. Even though I don't think we're going to finish these, we can at least make it look like we tried. And let's see, we got a port right here. We're going to go destroy the Cuban rebels. Let's see, naval bases finished. Literally in a second, I didn't even get to see what happened. It was like, boom, done. Like, these are, like, in two days, we just discovered a couple different technologies. Wow. I feel like we are advancing so much in our society that we have literally invented. We could literally discover, like, we will discover weapon platforms in literally a couple days. That is either amazing or really sad that we just invented them. And there's a Cuban army. We're going to watch as they get slowly crushed by me. Yeah. There we go. And even in the home troops, they actually have a gigantic rebels. Which kind of stinks for them because I'm going to crush the rebels. Basically wipe them out. Cuba's going to become a part of my country. It's basically going to happen. <laughs> saying it so... No, saying it nonchalantly is just like... Hmm, yeah. Let's see. Let's go right here. Go kick him out. Get, go kick out Havana. And I think that's it. We just destroyed all the rebels. Uh, poor really should not be mad at me ever. Really never. Yeah, if poor want to lose stuff, that's fine. Me weapons platforms in a couple days. Uh, let's get some steel turbines. Actually, we have to get these first because this is what we need to get. And I think the invasion of Cuba is done with. It took us. 
I, I think this took us literally less than a year to do. Yeah, and we're going to siege up this province really quickly. Pro-military, pro-military stands on everything. And boom. Thank you. And boom. So let's see, where did I get out of my QBN provinces? Okay. All right, wait, wait. Name. Wait, there we go. Cuba, 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 Cuba. Oh, wow, it actually keeps the uh, factories I was going to build. Okay. Can you guys actually convert these? Can, can can we actually build these? Can can we actually build these? Come on guys. Don't don't be don't be kidding with me. Can we actually build these? Ah. Hmm. Yes! Oh my goodness, we're actually building them! Yes! Oh my goodness. Okay, so I just learned something new. If I wanna if I want to like um convert a province, if I wanna like gain a specific factory I want. Without having to um, build the factory itself, all I have to do is just go conquer that region, or at least start building it in that region, and it will build automatically for me. So, little tidbit there for anyone who wants to exploit the system. I think this is pretty much an ex exploitation. But right, we're going to upgrade these guys' forts because we can. Because we're Le Plata. We will ally with the United States of... Yeah, of course. Why would... Why would we not ally with the United States? The yeah, United States is like a buddy. Like, for years, we've done this. Okay, so now that we have Cuba and have a little bit of our own Caribbean island, let's just go on massive, like, little kick out of everyone else's sprees. Let's see, who else can we just take over? I mean, I mean, I have an army. I have time. Let's go just start randomly taking over provinces. Let's see. Da Viet, it's too allied. You guys seem like you guys are going to be ripped apart here soon. Uh, Korea, I don't really want to fight. Uh, yeah, Spain's too allied. Hmm. 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 You guys are way too allied. <laughs> You're allied with me. Of course you guys are way too allied. Hmm. America has control over most of these places. Hmm. And then America has mostly all the army stacked right here. Hmm. You know, since I'm allied with America, could I get away with just, like, declaring war in all these little tiny countries? Well, probably not the ones that are directly involved, but, hmm. Just, like, we could just go on a massive Central American expansion. Hmm. Oh, wow, Guatemala got annexed by Mexico, too. Didn't notice that. Eh, I'll get to it eventually. It's on the back burner right now. Let's just go and... Oh, my goodness, my factory's now opening. Yes! Got my first tank and airplane factories. This means I'll finally be producing stuff. Oh, my goodness, that's awesome. Okay, that's going to make me very happy once we get to that day when we can actually produce stuff. Also, you guys have already built enough forts. And let's see. The British-American War of Aggression still hasn't spread anywhere because mostly they can't get anywhere. Uh, yeah. And you guys are losing your war. The Tango! What? First appearance during a... Uh, oh, sweet! We got the Tango. And America still wants us in this war, and... <sighs> okay. You know what? If I do this, I'm gonna lose a lot. But, at the same time, I could potentially win a lot. And with all the amount of alliances I have in the world, this would definitely, you know, especially with my Indian alliances, just like use these guys to go and crush everyone around me, because Britain's right now occupied. Eh, sure, why not? <laughs> oh my goodness, why not? Let's, I've finally given up. Let's finally do this. Let's finally get into the final part of this war. Maybe this is going to be the legacy. You became socialist. How could you? Well, actually, I don't hate socialism, so never mind. Okay. So, let's see. Colombia, we're going to add you guys to the war. Okay. You guys are communists. Okay. Venezuela, I'm going to add you guys in the war. I feel, like, I feel like I have a lot more ties with communism and fascism than I thought I did. But we're going to add all of our little puppets into the war. Okay. And Chile, would you guys like to come into the war? I don't think I can call Chile in because they're not my puppet. Yep. Okay. 
And let's see. First things first is we have to get our troops out of Africa. Okay. And well, thank you guys for watching. Next episode, we are going to be fighting against the the Rob to try to defeat them and finally kick them out and kick those fascists out of their once great land. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.